<laughs> the other thing we've done uh, along those lines is we had DNA work done on dogs. Uh, the dogs were using the dogs as a proxy for diet uh, to see, uh, for human diet, to see if what people were eating. Uh, we've got the, all the following things, but the dogs may give us a clue. But we wanted to make sure we had dogs and not mixed in with coyotes and stuff, so we had the DNA done. And there's no clear pattern except to, to tell you that a lot of the, what DNA work has been done with dogs has been done in BC, and our dogs tie to that, but in patterns which are, we don't, anyway, statistically we should have more variation, we don't. Also our dogs share DNA with a dog from the great Mexican city of Teotihuacan, which would suggest that there's dogs all over, you know, the same dogs are all over the place. And also what we've learned is that the dogs were eating nothing but fish. The joke tells us that they never fed fish to their, their animals because salmon would be bad to them, but the dogs have the same what we look at is the uh, ratio of nitrogen 15 and carbon 13 in the bones, and they have the same ratio as a sea mammal. They're eating nothing but fish. They're eating salmon, they're eating sturgeon, probably eating smelt, and that's it. <clears throat> and so if that's what the people were eating, we don't know what's, what they're doing with all those elk and all that other stuff that we find in the sites, but the, but the dogs weren't eating any of the terrestrial mammals. There's no, they're clearly just eating. So we're wondering if there's special dog feeding practices and stuff that are kind of, kind of messing, messing with that.